I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play Jotun. If you copy this game, is provided by the developer. I've actually played this game a little bit before, back when it was in like beta stage. So I haven't played the release game yet. Sem var ólíkur öllu sem ég hafði áður upplifað og skipið okkur sett. Í vægðarlausu djúpi sjáverins tók hálfgegsætt neðat ránar við mér. Ég var dregin dýpra og dýpra í átt að gyðju sjáverins. Dauðin væri komin til að sækja mig. Baráttu vil ég sálar minnar myndi ekki næja til að slökkva þorsta ránar í bráð sína. Myrkri kom, en þegar ég vaknaði var ég ekki í höll þangs og beina, heldur í kyrð og þögg. Parker, get down. Come here. There you go. All right, so in this game, I forget her name, but this game's very inspired by Norse mythology, as you might have gathered from the name. Very lovely 2D artwork, as this does a wonderful job of showing off. Parker, there's nowhere for you to even sit on the desk right now, Parker. Okay, we're in a bush. Okay, here we go. Thinking in a new haven. Good fuddler. So I don't want to give too many impressions based on the beta, just because I'm not sure how accurate they are to the main game, but the art was definitely very beautiful, and the uh, first boss that I fought was very fun. At least from what I played before, it seems the game is mostly focused on exploring then huge bosses, not like tons of little trash mobs. <laughs> Ræður þú hvort þú heldur áfram að kanna svæðið eða snýrð aftur í ginnunga gap. Oh, I see. Sorry, tree. Excuse me. So you can do tiny little swings and then big downward swing. Poor Yggdrasil. He didn't do anything wrong. Oh, hello, Rebel Swamp. What's in here? Poison! Good. Hmm. Are you Healy plants? See, uh, something in the beta that I noticed was the main, the main adversaries aren't so much like tons of little enemies. It's like lots of little environmental. I'm not sure what that was. Environmental hazards more than, you know, spamming tons of annoying enemies at you. And I thought it was really effective because I haven't really seen too many games do that where instead of a bunch of trash mobs, it's just the environment that's actively hostile towards you. I thought that was really cool. And this guy here. Come on. There you go. He heals us, and this gives us a nice, creepy glare. In helgi mímis brunnur, þar sem ég fórnaði auga mínu, mun endurnýja bæði líf þitt og krafta. I guess these are checkpoints. Oh no, I was supposed to, I'm supposed to find three of those. Okay. I get it. So we found one. Um. Oh. There are only a couple environments I explored previously, but they each had different uh, tricks to uh, try to hurt you with. It's really cool to see what new danger you'll find and uh, 
Ah, here we go. One more rune. Probably back this way. Everything's just so ridiculously pretty. Uh, I'm not sure when we'll pop up into a boss, but the first boss I faced in the beta was, uh... Oh, hello there. And you will probably give us some sort of power, won't you? Ah, here we go. Drink. So as you're exploring, you can find little. The game's explaining it. So lots of encouragement to explore, of course. I just find it really cool how the pre-boss battle stuff, it's dangerous but very peaceful, and you don't really see too much of that in any game with any hint of action. It's just got to be constant and... Oof. I found this game's, um, dang it, um, thought this game's approach to combat or whatever you want to call it pretty interesting and refreshing in that it's, you know, less constant, more environmental, though it's a bit more constant in this particular area. Excuse you. And these enemies telegraphing is something that we'll definitely see in the boss fights. Lots of slow moving bosses you gotta be really careful around. Few attacks, very high damage. I hate to bring up Dark Souls, but I mean, vaguely similar to that. I kind of wonder what's beyond this sprout or branch. It may just be nothing. Yeah, it looks like nothing. Excuse me. Um, how do I... B. Once we have multiple powers, you can change powers with, I think, the left and right button, and then it's um, B to actually cast the spell. As you can see, we have one more charge of that healing thing left. I didn't really need to use it, but I did need to find out what button it was for when I actually do need it. <laughs> Zombie dude! Oh, are you not hostile? Now you're hostile. Okay. Why? You got like an anti health bar. Or no, it's, it's just green. It's not transparent. I guess this is our first real boss. The beta's first boss was different. It was. Oh, it's getting bigger. So, Jotun, if you don't know, means frost giant. And so the first boss in the beta was in fact a frost giant, and it seems like the other bosses are in fact giants. Ah. Not necessarily frost related, but like there was this big plant woman. I'm not super familiar with Norse mythology, I'm afraid, uh, so I've actually learned a few things from this game already. But. Oops. So yeah, combat fairly. You gotta be cautious in combat and, you know, 
Lots of waiting for the right time to strike. Bosses will pretty much always telegraph their move. Um, we'll probably save after next hit, which is right now. Or not save, heal. Hmm. And yeah, this was this theme with the f other boss that I fought once. Damn. The more you damage them, they get way more dangerous. I... Hmm. Damn. Um, actually, maybe I should be trying to go between his legs. Because I think you can do that. You sure can. Okay. Oh yeah, and the attack hitboxes are, like, where you see the actual blade swing, not like... It's not impossible fighting game hitboxes. It's, like, realistic. Sorry, buddy! May this is That wasn't too bad for a first boss fight, I think. See, yeah, there's lots of timing, and what do we got here? And knowing where hitboxes will be, you'll probably die and restart a few times in the boss fights, you know, to learn their patterns. <laughs> Oops. So yeah, story-wise, we're basically trying to impress the gods by defeating these big giants. I thought Jotun, Jotun meant, like, Frost Giant. I'm not 100% sure if they're using it a bit more liberally here, if it just means General Giant. But we'll be fighting a bunch of different giants, basically. And, like I said, it sort of spreads out its difficulty, like, between exploring and boss fights, and I think it's really cool. I think this guy restores our magic charges too. Yep, sure does. So the sort of void thing that we were just in acted as a hub world in what I played before. You're a tiny bit low res. Oh. Pardon me. Uh, ma'am. Well, right into another boss fight. Yeah, very often you'll see a shadow of where the boss is gonna hit. What I played before, I had this really cool thing that let you speed up and let you dodge a lot of attacks that you probably couldn't otherwise. So I kind of miss that right now, but what we've got now is nice too. Be able to heal. Ah, I should have rolled. That's my bad. Uh oh. No, the flower. Obviously, supposed to hit that. When you can, when you can actually, you know, do it, you always want to use the Y, but it's a lot riskier. So I guess that other guy was more of a mid-boss than the actual Jotun. So let's heal. Oh, crap. And it's really cool to see the the sort of dangers that we're in your exploration phase, you know, since they're related to the boss, they actually come into play here. Uh -oh. And the bosses get drastically more difficult, the ones I fought at least, and I assume the later ones are... Oh crap. That's when you don't want to use the charge attack, because I'm like guaranteed to take extra damage here.
one thing that's slightly abusable, you can hack, um, I guess I can't get around that. I, uh, there is some hit stun, oh shit, on the bosses. It's very hard to activate, like, I think it's around certain ticks of their health bar, basically, where they will, uh, react. Oh shoot, oh no. Crap, we were sort of trapped in there. We're failures. Oh well, let's get right back in there. Boop. Just kind of wail on that for no reason. Okay, let's get back now. Excuse you. Oof. Did that? I thought I did charge it. Uh oh. And they'll usually have a phase like this where they get sort of dizzy, and you'll want to usually try and get one of those charge hits in. Oh. Oh dear. Thank you, Collision Detection, for figuring a way out of there. Ah, crap. Okay. Okay, that's bad. Boop! Don't you laugh at me, punk! Okay. Uh, this could be bad. I guess you just need to make sure you get rid of the, one of these vines before you dig in too deep on her. Okay, okay. We can avoid this one this time. I also really appreciate having not only female protagonist here, who's not really the standard type of female protagonist, but also a female boss, and very early. You don't... You often, even in games with female protagonists, don't necessarily end up with female enemies very often. Okay, I think we're in good shape here. Uh-oh. We aren't! We aren't in good shape. Kill! Okay, that was kind of close. Kind of. Just a little. Okay, I'm very glad that killed all of the other things. Bye-bye. Dang, that look in her eyes. That was excellent. Bye bye, forest giant. Nefndi faðið minn mig eftir þrömi guðinu. Faðið minn var höfðingi þorksins. Ásamt bróðu mínum og áhöfn þeirra sildi hann um höfin á stærðarinn á langskipi og ávann sér bæði ríkidæmi og vegsen. Mér var kennt að berjast á unga aldri. Viska móðu minnar, hugrækki föðu mínis og sögunar á góðunum veittu mér innblástur til að verða hinn fullkomni bardamaður. Þegar ég hafði aldur til, gaf faðir minn mér mína ástkæru eksi og leifti mér um borð í langskip sitt. So these little marks here, I believe, are like mark... I think these big ones are the runes you need to get. 
And these are some sort of unlockable, I think. And I know there's not everything marked on the map by default, because there, there was a little secret around here on the map, I think. And uh, it was a life up thing, unless they changed it, but... Uh, Let's take a quick peek in the frost area. Um, I think you sort of get the gist of the game, how the game works now. Um, so yeah, there's two different areas and then the boss on this area. The ice place is where I went. I played the uh, first one. The I played in the beta. I was meaning to do a video for the beta and then the actual release ended up slipping me by. And I like how the game has the little bits of Norse knowledge as you, you know, it explains the mythology of whatever area or boss you're about to go through. Is there that secret? Pretty sure there was a life apple thingy around here. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can find the big bad of this area, and then we'll call it a video. I thought the uh, threat in this area was pretty sweet. Let's see if we can make it appear. I'm not sure if it's completely random or predetermined. There we go. Hey, buddy. What's going on? You want to say hi? Oh, you're just going to menace under the ice at me? There we go. Who's a cute boy? I love that zoom out. The game does some really cool stuff with the camera panning and zoom outs and stuff. You're a fast one. And look at that menacing miss. Bye bye. But yeah, this is Jotun. It is on Steam. It's really cool. I really love the sort of unusual pace it has with the slower exploration segments. And it really makes the boss stuff feel a lot more dramatic. What do you say, Parker? What is your final- oh crap. Uh, what is your final opinion on this? He's just glaring at me. He's like, you put crap all over my desk and I can't sit down. Yeah, whatever. We'll have a sit after we're done with the video. Yeah. That's right. You can say, say something for the camera, Parker. Oh, you're a butthead. <laughs>